Hey, what is up, nerds, geeks, and collectors alike? Today, we are taking a look at the Transformers The Last Night Premiere Edition Deluxe Class Crosshairs. And this character is another edition from the Transformers Age of Extinction and made it to the Transformers The Last Night. And Crosshairs here is a rebellious Autobot. And before we take a look at the figure, let's move him here and take a look at the packaging. Here we have the standard Transformers Last Night Premier Edition packaging, the front with the artwork of Crosshairs, his name, and at the side here we have an artwork of Crosshairs. It states here he is a rogue sharpshooter. At the back here we have our obligatory CGI product shots and the figures that come along with this wave, the Wave 3 Bumblebee as well as Strafe. At this side you have Transformers and the continuation of the image from the front. At the top, we have an image of Bumblebee, Optimus, and Drift. And at the bottom here, we have the Lego Mumbo Jumbo. And that's about it for the packaging of the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Crosshairs. It's a shit of five pounds, sir. Now, easy chunky out of our... Ow! You wanna stop that? And here we have Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Crosshairs. With a pose now, let's just get him here. Just fix him up before we take an in-depth look at the character. Here, yep, looking pretty fine, pretty cool. Hey, that's what you get for taking a yellow bugger. You need a leader out there, like me. Shut up! Before I do some damage, you won't walk away from me. You will never be Optimus Prime. You talk too much. Come on, man, Million Hero Legendary War, you act like a bunch of junkyard dogs! Now Crosshairs is made of this green plastic with some added black and silver to give him more character and as you can see here it is distributed very fair overall here are some mechanical detailings i like it right here as you can see he has his skirt from age of extinction he is a retool of his uh, age of extinction version the main difference is the skirt the skirt from the previous version used to be rubber and there are reports it would tear but now it's made of plastic and what i tend to do for the skirt here is unflat the back right here in order to give the skirt that illusion of wholeness because if you flip that kind of looks like the skirt's cut from the back and let's take a look at his accessories he comes with a pair of guns right here let's take a look now these pieces are unpainted but they are detailed and sculpted very nicely as you can see very cool looking very cool looking guns his fat head don't get any better than that as you can see these guys are pretty similar just inverted in terms of sculpt in order to give them that illusion of fullness he has two ways to store his gun one are at his just give it to him and the other one involves the skirt he you can put here here's a hole right here and there's a tab right there and let's just get a better look at the tab here we are, there you are, and right there, that's the tab, and then what you have to do is just position that slot, and it will tab in pretty nicely, there we are, pretty tight, pretty clean, I like the addition to the uh, weapon storage, not much that they can do, actually they didn't have to do it in the first place, but yet here we have. I think even though we have such a great weapon storage, I think it's a little too uh, low. I think the guns should be at this hip right here. But then again, at least we have some weapon storage. At least we have somewhere to put the guns if we don't want him to be equipped with them. And then moving on to articulation, let's just remove the guns here first in order to give us that as much clearance as we can get. His head is on a ball joint, but unfortunately his armor pieces are hindering him from doing a full 360. He can barely look up and not at all down. As you can see here, it's kind of a hinge, but that's more for the transformation. But then again, it serves as a 
joint for the figure. His shoulder pad moves out and his wheel is on a hinge here in order to give him some clearance. His arm can do an entire 360 but again you need some clearance, you need to fix a couple of parts before you can rotate that entirely around as you can see here but it's not impossible here he has a double jointed uh, elbow but the one here of the upper this is the actual joint while the one below is actually more for the transformation again since it's strategically placed there i'm gonna count that as articulation he has some wrist swivel again that's not part of the transformation safely to say that is articulation unfortunately crosshairs does not incorporate any torso articulation not even a waist swivel or upper torso swivel right here but his skirts are on hinges it can move in and out up and down you can see there in order to give him that range of motion you can flip this in but that's more for the transformation and he can kick and he cannot move his feet back unless you flip this back right here then he can move his feet that far back he has this upper knee swivel right here 90 degree bend at the knee as well as some back and forth but that's more for the transformation again since it's strategically placed there i'm gonna count that as articulation and that's about it that's the articulation of transformers last night premier edition deluxe class crosshair oh, there you are good to find you kindly come with me ak what's with the c3po ripoff don't kill the messenger or the messenger will kill you <laughs> If you want to save oh, my your friend. Listen up, little Miss Sunshine. I'm in charge now. Just don't expect any bedtime stories. And for some size comparison, of course, let's get out that trusted ruler. As you can see, uh, crosshair stands about 5 inches, which is the standard size for deluxe class figures. And here we have Transformers Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Drift. And here we have Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Bumblebee from the same wave as Crosshairs. And as you can see, all of these figures stand about 5 inches despite of their unique designs. Bumblebee is 5 inches, Griff is 5 inches, and Crosshairs is 5 inches as well. No need to put a measuring on him. And now let's get him trans. Formed. Love that guy. Goosebumps every time. I, I never got to say hi.
And here we have Crosshairs in his 2016 Chevrolet Corvette C7 Alt Mode. And this car is definitely my favorite among all of the Transformers to the last night vehicles in terms of Alt Mode. Decepticons are coming. All right, we all know our hiding places. What's we'll this? Tracker brought them right to us. When are you gonna blow up? Crosshairs has one of the most appealing alt modes. I don't know why personally, but there is something about this vehicle that I really find appealing. Maybe because of its elegant design and as well as the paint scheme that complements the overall vehicle. As you can see here, Crosshairs moves with all four of his wheels on a flat surface with no problem at all and let's try to measure him let's get out the trusted ruler crosshairs stands about one and a half inches and he is a little wider than two inches right here and his overall length from head to tip from tip to tip it is about just a smidge more than five inches just a little bit and here we have transformers the last night premier edition deluxe class bumblebee and here we have transformers the last night premier edition deluxe class drift and these vehicles really complement each other and i can see why they are the ones that are pitted together. I really like the combination that these figures bring. So what can I say about the figure? I think he is a pretty good figure, especially considering that he is an update version of himself. And not to mention that I think his mold is an original mold only for him uh, so far. We've yet to see another Transformer with this body type. So it's an overall good update. If you missed out on the Age of Extinction version, now's your chance to get the The Last Night version, which is the superior version of the two modes. And that's about it. So if you like this video, drop a like and subscribe for more content. It would really help me out. Till next time, see ya!